When Eddie Reeves's father commits suicide, her life is consumed by the nagging question of why. Why, when he was a legendary photographer and brilliant teacher? Why, when he seemed to find inspiration in everything he saw? And most important, why, when he had a daughter who loved him more than anyone else in the world? When she meets Color Evans, a former student of her father's and a photographer himself, an instant and dangerous attraction begins. Color seems to know more about her father than she does and could possibly hold the key to the mystery surrounding his death. But Eddie's vulnerability has weakened her, and Color Evans is getting too close. Her need for the truth keeps her hanging on, but are some questions better left unanswered? Hi guys, this is Jessica, and this is my review over Fall for Anything by Courtney Summers. This book was released December 21st of 2010 by St. Martin's Griffin, and there are 230 pages in the U.S. paperback edition, and is, this is a standalone book. There is no sequel to it, so. Okay, so this was probably one of my favorite books in 2010, and I was one of the very last things that I read in 2010. It is not a paranormal book. It is a book about a girl whose famous father kills himself, as you guys probably know from the synopsis. And yeah, it's just really, really good. It was, it like, it like really dug at your personal emotions. And I think that's totally cool when books do that because, you know, it's really nice to read books like paranormally and that are like really happy and uplifting. But if you want a real, real book, this is one that you definitely need to read. I'm planning on going out and getting both of Courtney Summers' previous titles because she just drags you into this world and she just she keeps you there. She drags you like under the surface of this world and you're just like gasping for air the entire time. And I didn't think this book was going to be like that at all when I got it. Um, I got it for a review. And I thought it was going to be like, hey, this girl's dad committed suicide, blah, blah, blah. She goes through this these trials and she finds herself at the end but that's not the way that this book is at all this book is hardcore <laughs> that's really the best way to describe it and it completely smacks you in the face at the end if you think that you have read a book like this you haven't because or a book about suicide like this because you haven't um the way she does it is so crazy <laughs> like the way she writes there'll be pages where it's just like one or two lines. I'm trying to find one. Like the chapter is just one paragraph and it like just tears you up inside. Like there's one that's just one paragraph and it just like, ugh. And the way she writes, she writes like, like I've never had anyone really, really close and dear to me pass away, thank God. But um, I feel like the disoriented thoughts that the main character Eddie has is exactly how someone would be thinking and reacting to a death like that. And that's just absolutely crazy that she did this. I hope she's never had any personal experiences like this, but it was just so real. Like when I when I was reading it, it I felt that Eddie Reeves was a real person. And obviously she's not, but I I, I could just picturing somebody else's life instead of reading a book is what it was like. And that's absolutely crazy, and it's very it's very heart-wrenching, it leaves you emotionally drained, it leaves you sitting there like, uh, what just happened? And if you, if you want a book where you're going to have a satisfied feeling, like everything wraps up with a pretty bow at the end, this is not the book for you because you don't get a happy ending closure feeling. You get a closure feeling, but you don't get this, like, happy ending where everything's okay, and that makes the book really real, and it's really nice to get a book like this every once in a while. It really makes you appreciate what you do have, and that's just crazy that Courtney Summers did this in one 250-page book. But yeah, I am definitely getting her other two books. They're called Some Girls Are and Cracked Up To Be. They're in the back there. But yeah, um, if you, I'm sure you probably heard a lot about this if you watch a lot of YouTube channels or watch a lot of blog or read a lot of blogs, but just in case you haven't, make sure you go check this book out for yourself. Um, I'm so glad I read it. I am really glad I picked it up when I did. 
because I read it almost like a week or two after getting it and I'm really glad that I didn't wait on this book because it is 100% worth it. And this is also the book of the month for Chapter Chicks. Um, it's the book that we're going to be giving away at the end of January, so make sure you enter that contest. It's right on our blog. There's a link to it in the top left and in the right sidebar thingy. So, Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the spoiler review. So if you have not read Fall for Anything, do not watch any further because there will be spoilers. And the black screen goes up now, and after the black screen, that means spoilers, and I warned you, so. Oh my god. Can you believe what color did? I, like, I almost started bawling my eyes out because this poor, poor girl thinks that she is finally going to connect with her father and find out, like, why he would do such a terrible, terrible thing. And it turns out the color was just making it up the entire time. Like, what kind of a person does that to someone? Like, I understand that he needed closure too, but this girl's father just died, and he was just like his, like, idol, like, apprentice, or master apprentice kind of thing. And this girl's father just died, and he completely used her to find closure. Like, that's just crazy. And then he just leaves her in the middle of freaking nowhere. OMG. I was like, no way. This cannot be happening. Something had to happen. Something crazy is going to happen. It's all going to wrap up. But no, you guys know it doesn't. And I really hated Milo pretty much until he came and picked her up. I don't know about you guys, but he, like, he just got on my nerves. And, like, he didn't tell her about how... Um, him and that one girl weren't, Missy weren't dating and stuff like that. It's just like, why are you being so weird? I guess maybe he liked her being jealous, but still, it was crazy. And, but then when he went and picked her up and was so sweet and everything, I really liked him after that. But, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> this book was just a crazy, crazy book. I cannot wait to read more from Courtney Summers. Um, that's going to be the end of my book review now. I really can't say anything else. Um, it was just a crazy book that I am so glad that I got a chance to read. And I'm sure you guys feel the same. So, I am Jessica with Chapter Chicks. This is my book review over Fall for Anything by Courtney Summers. And this chapter was for you.